There's a quantity that we use when we talk about global warming, when we talk about uh, the warming of the earth due to the increase in greenhouse gas concentrations caused by fossil fuel burning and other human activities. We use a term called the climate sensitivity. And the climate sensitivity is just a simple measure of how much warming do you get for a given increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases. Uh, typically we talk about an equilibrium climate sensitivity. All it means is when we increase the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere and we allow the earth to equilibrate to that increase, how much warming will we see? Uh, typically we're even more precise. Uh, we define that quantity, the equilibrium climate sensitivity or the ECS, uh, in terms of how much warming do you get if you double the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Now if you look at uh, pre-industrial times, before we started uh, burning fossil fuels, uh, before the onset of the Industrial Revolution, there were about 280 parts CO2 for every million parts of air. That was the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere. Uh, those concentrations are now uh, around 400 parts per million. And if we continue to burn fossil fuels at historical rates, we will see a doubling of the pre-industrial level a doubling relative to the 280 parts per million at the start of the Industrial Revolution, a doubling of about 550 parts per million uh, sometime later this century in a matter of a few decades. So climate scientists ask, how much warming will we get for that doubling of CO2 concentrations? And we can look to the past. We can look at the way the climate responds to uh, various natural factors like volcanic eruptions or small but measurable changes in solar output. We can look at uh, how much cooling there was at the height of the last ice age uh, more than 10,000 years ago, nearly 20,000 years ago. Uh, we can look at how the earth warmed during certain periods in our geological past like the early Cretaceous period when dinosaurs roamed the planet when CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere were naturally very high. And when we look at all of those different lines of evidence, they all seem to point in the direction of a warming of about three degrees Celsius, about five degrees Fahrenheit, when we double the concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere. Um, so that means that uh, if you take the warming that we've seen thus far, since the dawn of industrial, uh, industrialization. Um, uh, we've seen about one degree Celsius uh, of warming so far. If we continue to burn fossil fuels at historical rates, uh, we will probably th see a warming of at least three degrees Celsius uh, sometime later this century. Now, many scientists who study the impacts of climate change will tell you that once we see more than about two degrees Celsius warming of the planet, just two degrees, that's where we start to see some of the worst and potentially irreversible changes in climate. So we probably want to avoid warming the planet more than two degrees Celsius. And as I said, we're already about halfway there at one degree Celsius. If you do the math, and if the Earth's climate sensitivity is close to what we think it is, around three degrees Celsius for every doubling of CO2 concentrations, then we will cross that two degree Celsius dangerous level in a matter of about two decades if we continue with business as usual burning of fossil fuels. Um, if you do the math, what you find is that it is still possible to avoid crossing that dangerous two degree Celsius warming limit. But to do so, we need to bring our global carbon emissions to a peak now and begin to decrease them at several percent per year for the next several decades, eventually bringing them down to near zero if we are going to avoid crossing into that, uh, what we uh, consider the range of dangerous interference with the climate, two degrees Celsius or more warming.